I'm Darren Karp, and joining me today from Lego Masters is a Lego Master himself, Nathan Sawaya. How you doing, Nathan? What's going on? Very well. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing well. I'm lucky to talk to you. Now, Nathan, you are a Lego artiste who has been recognized as one of the best Lego builders in the world. You have to tell me, how, how did you start creating art with Legos? What was your inspiration here? I mean, it goes back to when I, when I was a child. I had Lego bricks growing up, and it was just later in life, after doing art out of more traditional media, shall we say, things like clay and wire, I just thought about this toy from my childhood and thought, could I create art out of Lego? Started experimenting, eventually made a career out of it. You know, you've created everything from a seven foot long replica of the Brooklyn Bridge, casual, we've all done that, sure, you know, I've done many, uh, a life-size T-Rex, a six foot tall Han Solo frozen in carbonate. What is your absolute favorite piece you've ever done and completed? Uh, how do you pick a favorite piece? It's like picking a favorite child. Uh, I, I put a lot into each of these pieces. So, you know, when I think about my favorite piece, it's really, what am I working on next? Because that's where all my energy is going. That's where everything I'm thinking about. So that's really where the focus is. It's, it's impossible to pick a favorite. Well, you know, I saw you posted recently about a life-size replica of the Friends, you know, Central Perk coffee shop um, that you had done with another artist. How long did that take you exactly? That took us about four months. We used about a million bricks to create all of Central Park out of, out of Lego bricks. And we did it life size so that people could interact it, with it, sit on the couch, you know, sit at the bar, order a coffee, a Lego coffee, of course. But that was, uh, that was quite a project. Is that, is four months kind of this normal time? I mean, how long does it take for you on average to kind of make these bigger pieces like the T-Rex or the Brooklyn Bridge? Well, it depends. It depends on the size. It depends on the complexity of the sculpture. For a life-size human form, it's going to take me probably, you know, one to two weeks, depending. Uh, and then I'm using anywhere from 15 to 20, 25,000 bricks. And what about that piece behind you? The red looks like an armless guy, I think, behind you. How long is that in the process? Is that yeah. done? How long did that take? Yeah, that, that's a figure building himself out of Lego bricks. That's why he only has one arm. He's using the other arm to build with bricks. And that's, that's the kind of thing that would take about a week to complete. Wow, I need to just spend like a day with you. You know, you work on Fox's show Lego Masters as their builder in residence, but your official title is consulting producer. How did you get involved in the show in the first yeah. place? Well, I worked on the UK version uh, years ago when it just first started out uh, in, in, um, in the United Kingdom. That was four or five years ago. And so when we decided to do a US version, I was asked to come back and help uh, more on the artistic side of like creating these sculptures or, or almost not sculptures, more, more like playing pieces that the contestants would use to build off of. So depending on what the challenge was, I would build parts of it along with uh, Brandon Griffith, who's my partner in crime on this. The two of us would build these sections that the contestants would then use for the, the challenges. And for fans who aren't familiar with the show or haven't watched yet, can you break down what Lego Masters really is? Well, it's a reality show and you have 12 teams who are competing to create masterpieces all out of Lego bricks. But each week it's a different challenge. So sometimes it's about, oh, I don't know, building a, for instance, in the uh, premiere episode this season, it was building a parade float. Uh, you know, only about a minifigure scale. So it was probably two feet long and several feet high. And, and the contestants did these amazing parade floats that they would go down a city street. Now my team then builds that city street so that it has a nice background when we see the parade going down the street. But the challenges differ all the time. Two weeks ago, or episode two, the challenge was to build something that would look good exploding. And the show, we actually put little explosive charges in each of the Lego creations so that they would burst and all the bricks would go everywhere. <laughs> 